Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm building some shelves, so let's get started. I wanted to build some custom walnut shelves, so I went down to the local lumber store and picked out some FAS one and a half inch thick walnut. I want the shelves to have a little bit of a rugged texture, so I picked out some boards with the knots exposed and some rough edges. I got the boards a little bit wider than I needed so that I could cut them down to the size that I want. I only cut one side of the board so that I could keep one rough edge to achieve that rugged look I wanted. And then I cut the boards to the length that I wanted. With the boards cut to the proper size, it was time for sanding. I used 60, 150, and 220 grit to get it nice and smooth. I sanded all the surfaces of the boards, including rounding off the corners so they wouldn't be so sharp. Sanding was by far the most time consuming part of this process. Next I wiped off all the sawdust with a damp cloth in preparation for the finish. I used tongue oil to finish the shelves because I wanted them to have a little bit of a darker look. Now that I've given the shelves 24 hours to dry, it's time to hang them on the wall. And we've chosen this pipe style shelving to mount it on the wall. The shelving is a little bit heavy, so we're gonna wanna make sure we screw into some studs. And I'm gonna show you some tricks you can use to find studs if you don't have a stud finder. Your electrical outlets will usually be mounted to a stud on the left or right side. And the drywall will be nailed to the stud and then covered. So you can use a magnet on the left and right hand side to try and find a nail. And when the magnet sticks, you know you found a nail in the stud. And studs are usually spaced 16 inches apart. So you can see on most tape measures that every 16 inches is marked with a red mark to indicate a stud. Once I marked out where I wanted to mount the shelves, all I had left to do was screw the brackets to the stud. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thanks a ton for watching. <laughs> 